My name is Camille Idris, and I am from the historic country of Sudan, heir of an ancient culture and the center of a great civilization. Sudan sits at the strategic crossroads of Africa and the Middle East and is a vast area of fertile lands, abundant livestock, an immense, as yet mostly untapped, natural resources. It has, however, been troubled by conflict for much of its independent history and is currently suffering from economic sanctions, double-digit inflation, political uncertainty, and a chronic lack of foreign direct investment. The partition of the country in 2011 and the worldwide reduction of oil prices only added to its problems. It's also burdened by a foreign debt of nearly 40 billion US dollars, which is crippling its efforts to lift large numbers of its populace out of poverty. Despite all of these troubles, I have faith in its future and its greatest resource, its people. The outside world takes note of the political unrest, the civil wars, and the suffering refugees, but what it rarely sees are the generous ambitious, family-oriented communities that are at the heartbeat of the country. I know my country well, and the vast majority of its citizens wish only for a chance to bring their children into a world where random killings of innocent civilians are condemned, and where Human rights, tolerance, freedom of speech, and of religion are the primary values. I would also like to send a message of hope to all those in the wider world who believe in the sanctity of life, the community of nations, and the brotherhood of mankind and who are horrified by the bombings, atrocities, and the sufferings of victims of terrorism. I believe it's time to stand back and reflect on the values that bind us all together rather than those that divide us. I know that all over the world, there are like-minded people, the overwhelming majority, who wish only for a chance to live peaceful, secure, and happy lives in harmony and goodwill with their neighbors, regardless of their religion or beliefs. The common factor in these universal values is an emphasis on charity, mercy, hope, and social justice. It is in the spirit of this message, at the beginning of 2017, that I am also making an appeal to the international community. If Sudan is to rejoin the Brotherhood of Nations in the not too distant future, it must be as a proud champion of the intrinsic values we all recognize. I believe we can revive those values, but we must somehow liberate ourselves from the chains of debt and economic sanctions. If we can achieve these objectives, then I know that my country can
can prosper and once again hold its head high in the international community in a mutually supportive and complementary relationship.